Well, holiday entertaining can be a really fun but also a daunting task. Not, though, if you have the right menu to wow your guests with. Joining us this morning, the head chefs and owners of Uvina Latin Tapas and Wine Bar in Hell's Kitchen. They're here to show us some dishes that you'll be proud to serve at your holiday table. Stephen Hoover and Giovanni Morales, thank you both so much for being here. Thank you for having us. So you brought some delicious looking food. Before we start with that, tell us what are some of, what's the one thing you tell people to keep in mind when cooking for the holidays? I think because it's so stressful, keep it simple. Mm -hmm. You don't need to do a lot to have like a really great menu. You just need to keep it simple. You need to keep it fresh and you just need to have a lot of color. And mm -hmm. just... Now I love throwing a good dinner party, but I find more and more people find they have allergies to different things, more so than you used to see years ago. Absolutely. Now, you said everything you made here, a lot of it at least, is gluten free. Mm -hmm. Is that difficult to do? Not at all. Actually, everything here is gluten free. So uh, really the way that Giovanni cooks is, is gluten free authentically because most Guatemalan and Central, Central American cuisine is actually just gluten free by default. They don't use flour, they don't oh, okay. use wheat, so it's really simple when you're eating this way to... to yeah. uh, Alright, Giovanni take us through it. Perfect, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do some artichokes and there is a kale pesto on top of the artichokes. Very easy, it looks beautiful, it's very eye-catching, so when someone walks by, of course they're going to want to have one. Mm -hmm. The next thing we have is uh, Chorizo stuffing with raisins, some cranberries, some sweet sausage. Super delicious, all gluten free. Also, it's a cheese spread. How, now, can you make this ahead of time? You can. Stick it in the oh, refrigerator, microwave it, mm -hmm. put it in a nice, nice bowl, and you're good. It's actually better when you let it sit overnight because then the bread the takes flavor, the flavor and the and flavor is so, all yeah, meshed together. Make together. ahead groceries are, uh, dishes are great too for a dinner party because you have so much to make on the day that anything you can Absolutely. get a head start Absolutely. with is great. Absolutely. Uh, these look. Awesome. Yeah, what kind? I you said these are duck tacos? So, yeah, yes. this is our duck taco, and it's got an ancho rub on the duck, and we also did a barbecue corn relish and some yeah, microgreens in there. Absolutely delicious. Diane and I are fighting. Yeah, we have other. to. <laughs> don't fight, don't fight. Um, we have to try one of these, um, and this is your tamale, right? And yeah. This is a pork tamale, which is very traditional Guatemalan uh, food for the holidays. You can put anything in it. We put pork loin in this one, we put some olives and some red peppers and green peppers. You can make them sweet if you want. And this is just like a fun dish also. It's like eye-catching again. And it's very like family style. Like when I used to do this with my parents, they'd get all of us in line and we'd all do like a little food processing. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, and Tamales seem it. intimidating to me. No, they're not. They're very easy. An hour and a half and you're done. You know, it always seems intimidating, but right. once you get it, it's easy. Mm -hmm. These tacos are delicious, by the way. Okay, and what do we have next? Well, this I thought was chocolate, but you said there's actually beans in here. Absolutely. Uh, yep. So, and this is actually, uh, we serve this at our restaurant, Uvinia. It's actually deep fried plantain. It's got sweet black bean puree and then a caramel drizzle on the bottom. It's so delicious. And it's actually a really typical Guatemalan dessert. So this, this is a dessert, even yes. though you hear beans, you think yeah. it's going to be something savory. But Yeah, the cinnamon and the sugar like really round it out with the caramel. It's actually really good for a dessert. Oh, that's really, really good. And you have a little bit of powdered sugar on top Absolutely. here, right? Mm -hmm. And the caramel sauce on the bottom. I know. What can, how can you go wrong with right. either of those, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. And then no party is complete exactly. without a good cocktail Absolutely. to go with it. Thank you. Now, Last but not least, yeah, please explain. this is a typical Guatemalan rum punch. This morning, we didn't put any rum because, you know, we all have to work some more. So. <laughs> right, exactly. so. You can add it later. You can add it later. In the wintertime when it's really cold, you can just go ahead and put some rum, right. heat it up, and the whole house is going to smell really delicious. This is delicious.